Today I want to talk to you about this really neat command line system information tool. This tool, it's called INXI. It basically gives you a summary of your system. The hardware that's in your machine, the device drivers that those particular components are using, and it comes with a ton of flags and option, and it's really useful, especially for those of you that want to uh, use some scripting, maybe you know, you know scripts that tell, for example, the battery life on your laptop or your current uh, video driver on your machine, or how much memory is currently being used by your machine, and things like that. Let me switch over to my desktop here, and let me open a terminal. Let me zoom way in, and if I run INXI without any flags or options, you get a very quick and cursory overview of your system. This is a small fraction of the information that INXI can print out, but without any other flags or options, you get a basic summary. So you get the CPU, speed, min and max, the Linux kernel you're using, uh, your uptime, memory, storage, how many processes were currently in use, the shell, I'm using the fish shell, and INXI, the version. Now, there is a man page for INXI, and if you go and read it, uh, it's lengthy. And this thing has a ton of flags. <laughs> uh, so you're able to see all kinds of information with this thing. So today what I wanted to do is cover uh, some of the basic usage of this. If I do INXI and give it dash B for basic, uh, you get a summary. Uh, you get a much more lengthy summary than without any flags or options, right? But still, this is not everything that INXI can show you, but it's the most important stuff, you know, stuff, the kinds of things uh, people are typically looking for. Now there is another flag you can use with INXI instead of dash B for basic, you can do INXI dash E for extended or expanded, and you get a little bit more information in the output for this. So it's a little bit lengthier, you know, when I scroll back, you know, it had a few extra lines to it. Now the cool thing with INXI is each of these sections, you know, I can get each of these sections with various flags. Uh, for example, if I go and do INXI and give it, I don't know, dash M for memory, and that gives me the RAM on the machine, right? And most of the flags make sense. For example, if you wanted your CPU information, INXI-C gives you the CPU. If I do INXI-A for audio, or actually dash A is not audio, dash capital A is audio. Uh, yeah, so INX dash capital A is audio devices. I don't know if lowercase a is even uh, a legit flag. It is dash A. It doesn't have a description though. I think the dash A is actually just INXI without any other flags or options because it's basically the same information. Some other neat flags, INXI dash S for sensors. That's gonna give you some of your uh, temperature and fan information. Uh, INXI dash capital S, I think would have just been a uh, system summary. One really cool flag, uh, especially for those of us on Linux, right? INXI dash R for repos. Have you ever wanted to know all the repos that you have enabled on a system, especially on Arch Linux? Uh, if you're adding a lot of third party repos, something I often do on my machines, right? And I want a list of all the uh, the mirrors, right? Here you go. Our uh, active repos and then the mirrors. And uh, that's great because you know, there's not a lot of commands to get this information. There is a, a package in the pacman-contrib package. Uh, there's a script that can give you this kind of information. But if you already have INXI on your machine, and many Linux distributions do ship INXI already installed, uh, so sometimes you don't even have to go and install INXI. So you've already got this command available to you to get that repo information. Now, other than just getting certain bits of information from INXI like the CPU and the memory and you know the audio server and the video drivers and whatever it is that you're trying to get. If you want summaries of several different pieces of information, they have several different uh, flags that are already configured to give you blocks of information uh, depending on exactly how much output you want. If I scroll down toward the bottom of this, again, very lengthy man page, you'll eventually get to some flags here, dash V and then zero through eight. So dash V zero through eight, this is various 
kinds of reports. So uh, if I open a second terminal and let me zoom in on this one as well, and I do INXI dash V zero, this is your simple report, right? That's the same as INXI with no options. So there we have that. If I do dash V one, you get a little bit more information, right? This is the basic report. And then we just keep adding things on top of it. So dash V2 is the base report. Plus it's going to add the machine flag, the battery flag, the networking flag. So let's try that up arrow dash V2. You see the report is getting a little longer each time all the way until dash V8, which is it's essentially everything you could want. And finally, the last INXI command I want to show you is one that I didn't even know was available until here recently. I read an article online about it and I thought, wow, I, I and because we know it's a system information tool, it's getting uh, hardware information about your system. I don't even know why it contains this flag, but if I do INXI dash W for weather, it'll give me my weather <laughs> right now uh, the geolocation is, is not correct here it thinks I'm in Lafayette Louisiana that's uh, about three hours south of me <laughs> so I'm not in Lafayette so uh, it's not correct but I could actually specify exactly where I'm at I could actually give it you know name of city and country make sure there's no spaces here so this needs to be all one argument if you add a space yeah you know, it's not gonna know what to do I can actually show you this if I Paris comma space France and it's going to say unsupported option so get rid of the comma Paris comma France no space and we can see that it's currently uh, 18 degrees Celsius in Paris few clouds and the uh, current time is actually my current time the central time zone in the US that would be neat if it actually gave me the current time in Paris France but unfortunately that's just your time so there you have it INXI really neat tool great free and open source software uh, it's available again in every Linux distributions repositories and again on many machines you won't even have to install it chances are your Linux distribution probably has already installed it for you now before I go I need to thank a few special people I need to thank the producer of this episode Matt Steve 40 millimeter Cap Caveman Darloff Lee Jersey Killer Mark Methos Erion Paul Peace Arch and Fedora Realities for Less Red Profit Roll and Ward Gento and Ubuntu and Willie these guys they're my highest tier patrons over on Patreon without these guys this episode about INXI would not have been possible the show is also brought to you by each and every one of these fine ladies and gentlemen all these names you're seeing on the screen right now these are all my supporters over on Patreon without these guys I wouldn't be able to do what I do uh, you want to help support my work, guys, please subscribe to DistroTube over on Patreon. Peace.